Hey guys, Eric here from Expedition Electric, and today we're going to install the Walla Mart 1000 watt uh, hub motor to the front of this bike. Now, from the last conversion we did, which is the rear hub motor, uh, some people said that it was called Walla Mart, others said it was called Wally Mart, uh, and one other said it was Viola Mart. So I believe it's Walla Mart. Anyways, it's going to go to the front of this bike, 1000 watt. Uh, the person whose bike says this was already started by putting on the throttle, removing the grips. So if you need to know how to do that, check out the other video that's in the description below. So here's the motor that we're going to install onto the bike, the 1000 watt hub motor. And here's our table of tools and accessories. And I'll just go over quickly some of the things that we have. This is our battery, a 48 volt, 13 amp hour unit pack power battery. This is the controller um, with all the wires here. The case that the controller goes into, uh, grip. This is the mounting plate for the battery. This is the rear rack that we've purchased that's gonna go on the back of the bike. This is the bag that the battery is gonna go into. I've got a much better kickstand than the one that comes with the bike. A new tube to fix the back flat tire. Um, use a drill just to put on this torque arm here. Torque arm I purchased from Amazon. A couple accessories, I got the mirror we're gonna put on, a softer gel seat, and then a few tools, like we've got the tire gauge and a couple different pairs of pliers, which I'm not sure if we're gonna need. We definitely need these. Um, we've got the tape here, electrical tape. We've got a bell. Oh, that didn't work. We've got a bell and a ton of hex keys, which are very important for an e-bike conversion, and then quite a few industrial zip ties, which are important to have to connect your wires and organize your wires. So those are some of the tools we're gonna use and the equipment we're gonna use on this e-bike. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is change this back tire. It did have a, has a flat tube, so I'm gonna use these tire levers here to get the rubber on the outside of the rim. Slide the lever along the rim. This. Okay, I've got the rubber outside of the rim. I'm going to remove this bell cap here. And then, without removing the tire tread, I'm just going to pull out the tube. Then I'm gonna inflate this tube to see where the hole is in this tube to see if there's any debris inside of the tire, okay? So I've already figured out it's got a big hole right next to the valve here. So I'm gonna check, check the rubber of the tire to make sure there's no debris in there. And I think that tube was just very old. Then this is the new tube. Just a little bit so that it takes shape, not too much, it might be too much. I'm gonna insert, start at the valve. And then slowly work the tube in. I'm just using a standard floor pump. That one's a Schwinn brand. Um, I definitely recommend getting a floor pump like this if you inflate or have a lot of flat tires because it goes much quicker than a travel hand pump. Um, I'll put the links for the tire tubes and for the pump in the description below, so check those out. So I've got that tube in. Now I'm gonna work the tire tread back into the rim by just squeezing it, going along slowly. If I get stuck, which I didn't, I may flip it over like this and try the other side, but pretty much got it. So I'm gonna locate my valve again. Okay, so I'm gonna inflate this to 40 pounds per square inch. And while I inflate it, I'm definitely gonna be checking to make sure that I don't have any areas where the rubber didn't get fully inserted, but it looks good. We're at 40.1, so we're gonna call it good here. 
So we've got a new tube on this back tire. We're gonna put this back on. And um, interested to see the pictures of your conversion. So, you know, send them, tag me in your Instagram. It's at Expedition Electric. I'll put it in the bio below. I'd love to see what you're doing for your e-bike conversions. The chain goes around this part here. I'll fit it back into the mount. I'm going to tighten the bolt. So everything's looking good here. Okay, so now we're going to install the front electric wheel, the motor, and want to make sure the cords are facing to the right, the power cords, whether you're doing a front or rear hub. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the ports go um, on the correct side of the washer, so I want one washer on each side of the forks. So there we go, I correctly set the wheel on each side of the washer. I'm gonna put this on, this washer on, make sure that it's not this way, but this part is in the opening. And then I'm gonna install this torque arm. See the way I have this put together? I also have a video on how to install the torque arm, so you can check that out in the description below if you have any questions about installing this piece of equipment. Okay, so we now gotta wrap this cord up here. I'm just gonna make sure it's not anywhere near the tire. And zip tie it right here. So next thing we're gonna do is take off this kickstand and put on this super heavy duty kickstand because this kickstand is not going to cut it with the added amount of weight that we have on the bike. This bike will probably weigh around 50 to 55 pounds. So we got that old kickstand removed and we're ready to put on this one and it simply goes in slides into this area here. You know, sometimes for these add-on kickstands, you might need one that uh, hooks right here, depending on your bike. But this, I've used this kickstand with several e-bikes that weigh over 50 pounds, and it works great. Uh, I'll put a, a link for this kickstand in the video description. Okay, so let's check out this kickstand. There it is, springing into action. And yeah, holds the bike really well. Okay, so let's get these handlebars going here. And just simply slide on the shifter. You know, sometimes these grips require a little bit of force, a little bit of twisting. And it's fully on there, so now I'm just gonna tighten down this, the brake here. So the brake is tight, and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten on the other side while I'm at it. Now we're going to connect the brake. Uh, the left hand is the front brake, so this is the left hand here. And insert this part here into the circle. And then guide it along here, making sure that all of our grooves are lined up. And then it slides right through if everything's lined up. The right side is the rear, right is rear. Slide it through here. And there we go. Tighten this down. And then we gotta hook it back up 
in the rear of the bike. Okay, next thing we're going to do is hook up these brakes here. And to show you how to do these, I typically recommend the disc caliper brakes. Um, better for stopping an e-bike that's going fast. So there we go, these are all hooked back up now. I'm going to leave a little slack for them in case the handlebars do get twisted. I don't want these to rip out. So I'm going to install this back rack and what I did is cut apart some grips of the bike, uh, some old bike grips. Uh, that are made of rubber to put in here for better spacing and uh, to reduce the noise that this makes. This is a cool pack because it really hooks directly to this rack here, so it's not going to move around. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is put the controller in the bag here. I'm going to double check to make sure my battery is not on, which it is, it is not on. I don't want to have the battery turned on while I'm making my connections. So you see here we got a bunch of cords. Not too tough to connect. Make sure your battery is off. Simply going to connect the green to the green. Connect the blue to the blue. And connect the yellow to the yellow. <laughs> Pretty straightforward so far. And this one, the only one that this is going to fit into from the motor is this one. Okay. And now it looks like we've got the throttle here from the controller, so where's the throttle cord? Did we not bring that over? Oh, there it is. They were hanging out down there. So we've got the throttle cord. Goes there. We've got the left brake and the right brake. You know, the red and black goes into the red and black. We've got the left and right brake. And the left one. Here. So now I'm also going to put on this blue to the blue and that's going to restrict it to 750 watts rather than a thousand. Especially while we're testing these brakes here. Um, we don't need it to go a thousand watts if these brakes <laughs> aren't working that well. So we want to make sure we have the brakes perfected. Um, I'm going to put some electrical tape over these connections because I don't want anything to touch those. I don't want any of that metal showing at all. Because if that touches something, it's gonna short. Okay, so now I've got all the connections. The battery has no metal showing. I'm gonna go ahead and connect up the, ba the battery here, which is still turned off. You know, these quick connections are great um, and provide a very secure connection. If you wanna check out how to, how to connect these together, these wires together, I made a video on that. So check that out video, uh, it's in the description. I'm gonna put the bag in here now and then figure out how to kind of manage these cords. Um, also, if I have both of these in the back here, I definitely like to keep separation between the bag and the battery. So I'm gonna stick these rolls of tape in there so that the heat doesn't transfer through there as much. And I've got a nice section here for all of the cords at the end of the, the bag where all of these cords are going to go. So we've got the mirror, we've got the bell, we've got the seat cover, we've got the back rack bag. Here's the final look of the e-bike. 
1000 watt restricted right now to 750 watts until we figure out the brakes and tighten those brakes down. Now we'll take it for a test drive.